Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Today I thought we could make this nice cute paper illustration that could be used as a Christmas card or just as a fun activity to do with kids that can uh, cut paper with ease or just for yourself. So in order to create this, you're going to need four sheets of paper that are around the same size. Here I did um, a brown, a pink, and a blue, all 13 by 13 centimeters, so a square. And then I used my cheap sketchbook to glue it in. The first layer, you are going to be creating your character, the foreground. And I wanted to create a bear, um, like reaching out to the branches. And so I had to keep an area where the bear is connected to the branch so it's all together. Then you're going to be creating the midground in which you need to consider what is going to be seen. So you can either draw the bear in tracing paper and put it over or already use the cutout area to see what areas will be seen. So I wanted it to just be a mountain um, where I was going to have then the blue piece of paper be the sky with some snow coming out of it. You want the least amount of detail in the third layer, the most amount of detail in the first layer, some detail because you're going to lose some of it with the foreground in the midsection. So you draw whatever it is you want to cut out and then you're going to reverse it so you do not see the lines that are being created. So here I was just kind of plotting out, since I knew none of these lines were going to be seen, I was plotting it out, what is exactly what I wanted to be seen? So you need to think of the negative space around the bear and what you want to be cut out. Did you want to have a frame? I did, I wanted to have some clouds in addition to a mountain. So I traced a bit of where the bear was and the tree branches, so I knew which areas I wanted to keep there to glue underneath and then decide where I wanted to have the clouds and I wanted them to connect to create a nice frame. So this is what I am doing here with a pencil. I'm just lightly drawing out cloud shapes. And the reason why I picked pink is because lately the sky in the mornings, I'll insert a little picture here in the, in the corner, has been absolutely breathtaking. The sun rises and the sun sets. They create this beautiful orange and pinks and dark ash blues. It's just glorious. I look forward every morning to seeing them. I'm guessing it's because of the cold temperatures that cause these colors in the sky. And I just thought it was beautiful. So here you can see that I've already created the little frame area of the clouds. I'm just making sure that I left enough of the area to glue onto the branches, tracing it a bit. Since this is a side that you're not going to see, you're going to be turning it around. Uh, you can do any marks that you want. No one's going to see them, so it's quite all right. And so here I was just doing a bit darker so I could see where it is that I wanted to cut. So I have different cutting supplies. I have this cutter, which I absolutely love. It's cheap. I bought this at Action. So it was probably around a euro or even cheaper. I don't know. No, probably around, around a euro. But it's wonderful. It comes with different heads, but I like to use this regular um, cutter. I don't know what type of head this is, but <clears throat> perfect. I would get it again in a heartbeat. So I was adjusting the shape of, of the mountain here just because I didn't really like how I sketched it. And in order to do curves, you need to do it section by section not in one go, you will, like I noticed this when I was doing this little snowflakes, they were nice and rounded. A lot of them didn't turn out to be perfect circles, but you know, snowflakes aren't even circles. <laughs> so it didn't really matter. But here I was just doing it slowly. I had the healable mat underneath me, cutting mat. This I would recommend if you don't have one, you can use a piece of cardboard or you can have a thick towel underneath or several sheets of paper or an old really like ugly sketchbook notepad hard wood a cutting board I don't know you can find something hard that will pr will protect your table so that you can do this and then you just cut away
Ah, the great reveal. So now I put the bear on top of my cloud and mountain. And you can see that I still have plenty of space for the blue background to shine through. Um, there is some overlaying, overlaying area, so it'll be easy to glue. There will be support for the bear. And it just gives a nice sense of mid-ground. It, the bear is completely separated. That's why I love these paper illustrations. I don't tend to, to do this type of, of illustrations, but every now and then it's just so refreshing and beautiful. I love them. I was very inspired after taking um, this paper illustration course on Domestica. Um, what is her name? Oh, I forget. I will have to look for it and I'll put the information somewhere, um, either in the description or on the screen right now. Um, I would definitely recommend it. There are a whole lot of really great Domestica courses. So here, as you can see, I had both layers on and I sketched out where I wanted the snowflakes. I knew that behind this blue paper, there was going to be creamy, almost white paper. So that would be perfect for snow. So here you can see, it's a bit of a struggle to cut out these tiny itty pieces. There is a, a utensil that I saw in this domestic domestica course where it punches holes. I think it's like for leather, where it will punch holes into leather and it's just like a hole punch, but instead of having um, the lever to mechanically punch a hole, it's just an individual thing where you use your whole hand to punch down. If I find a picture of it, I can post it here. So that took a while to create all of the little hole punches, but here I glued it in my sketchbook. You can see how all the layers look together. It looks so wonderful, but being me, I always need to add paint. And here I grabbed more like scraps of paper that I had to create a little bird and I painted with acrylic wash and used some pencil for the snow. But everyone, so thank you so much for watching this video. Here I'm going to leave you with a nice scene of our local Christmas market. I hope you have a lovely day and come back soon to watch more videos. Bye guys, till next time.